Please let me do it. 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 Let's go. GG. Six prizes in one turn. Are you looking for sealed product and singles? You can find it all on Channel Fireball. Please use my Tailmon affiliate code when checking out to help support my content. Looking for PTGO codes? Photon Store has all the latest sets and promos instantly delivered to your email. You can use Tailmon code when checking out for 5% off. If you're from Europe, Millipods Gaming has a wide array of sealed products, singles, and more. You can use Tailmon code when checking out for 5% off. Card Market is Europe's largest online marketplace for Pokemon cards. Whether you're looking for sealed product or singles, vintage or the latest sets, just follow the link in the description to find what you need. Want to show off your love for Tablemon? Check out my 2021 merch. These new hoodies and shirts are available on Amazon. Click on the link in the description to get yours. Hello everyone and welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in to another video and thank you so much if you're live here with me it's almost 80 people live right now thank you so much and big shout out to hot cup of noodles for subscribing with prime gaming i really appreciate it yeah it means the world and appreciate the kind words as well kaden Wright, thank you so much for the follow and i'm definitely doing much better um the whole like four year anniversary thing uh, about me doing table one full time like and with the and how intense the 50 keys 50 decks series was for me like that the 50 keys 50 decks basically reminds me how much i love this and how passionate i am and how much i love competing and being a top player and i i like like showing that i can play 50 different decks and qualify to the one tournament that we have uh which is not super easy to qualify right and um the four-year anniversary where I also got the cookies done. I don't know if you guys saw the pictures. I don't have one with me right now, but I got Tailmon cookies done. Um, that reminds me, like, the only reason I can do this full-time is because of you who are watching right now, whether live on Twitch, whether on YouTube, any form of support, like, that's why I can do this. Um, as of today, and that's why I've been able to do this for the last four years. So... I wanted to come back and interact with you guys live. I'm trying to be more active as well, replying to comments on, on YouTube videos, which I'm giving out codes in every YouTube video in case you guys um, weren't aware. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, the Pokedex series, it's definitely something that's been on the back of my mind. You know, the Pokedex series is definitely something that's been on the back of my mind. Maybe I'll do it. Um, maybe we'll come back to it at some point. But for now, yeah, this Kyogre deck by, let me check the name. It was an Italian player who played it. So let me say his name. The Italian player who played it was uh, 428888. So really cool original deck. It really surprised on, on the first stage and on the second stage it fell apart. But it features the amazing rare Kyogre, which does 80 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon, right? With a very awkward energy cost of lightning, metal, and water, and colorless. But with Frost Moth, obviously, we can cover the water types, um, the water energies with the Ice Dance ability. We have Cocoa Prism Star as well to cover the lightning. We have two real patches to help us power up, and we have the metal energies to be attached, right? We have Articuno to protect our bench with the Blizzard Veil attack, I mean ability. We have Jirachi to help with a little bit of consistency. We have Ricorio, we have Seishan to help set up. We have Mew to protect the bench. We have Marshadow to remove Chaotic Swells and make sure that we can play the Training Court to get back energy. Thanks so much for the follow, Rayquaza Fish. And yeah, you know, let's... We have Rosa as well. Like, Rosa just fetches the cards that we need. So let's see. Yeah, like... Let's see what we can do with this deck. Telescopic Sight also increases the damage that we do to the bench, which is pretty awesome, right? Let's see if we can clean up benches with this deck. <laughs> and yes, I got to Johto, and I re like I was checking the playlist the other day. I started that back in 2015. That's crazy. I started that back before I did this full time. Um, yeah, so I used to like 
I, I set myself a goal of trying to fill up the TCG Pokedex, right? Like, you know how in the, in the normal video game you try and fill up your Pokedex, right? That's the whole uh, thing about Pokemon, right? Gotta catch them all. So my idea was to do this uh, TCG Pokedex series where I try to fill the TCG Pokedex, which means I get to or I focus on um, trying to play stuff like um, stuff like um, uh, uh, um, or rather what I try to do is fill up the Pokedex and I start with the Venusaur line, right? So I do the Venusaur line. Ooh, the damage reduction is going to be really bad for us uh, from the full length. <laughs> um, fill up the Pokedex, right, with a Venusaur deck, and then a Charizard deck, and then a Blastoise deck, and then a Butterfree deck, and then a Beedrill deck. So trying to feature each evolution line individually, right, that was the goal. That was the goal of the deck. Okay. Um, I feel like I should establish uh, the Snom. Okay, I should establish this num here, and I will bench you, and then... Okay, uh... I guess I'll Ordinary Rod back the metal. I have extra water, so I'm not super concerned about losing this one. So I'm gonna research. And okay, so I get all the metals. <laughs> I get all the metals. I'm gonna wait to see what sort of stadium they play before I play mine. <laughs> I can actually attack with station if I really want to, but I don't think I will. I mean, I'm gonna lose the energy anyways. Jumpus Gaming, thanks so much for the follow. Uh, a priori rapid strike or single strike? Creo que es single strike. <laughs> Sorry, Alexander. We can you can keep trying. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna be streaming. I think for at least another hour. Yeah, so I don't want to pressure myself into streaming like five hours in a row. I want to do the stream as long as I'm enjoying the stream. All right, so so I like that's why I don't want to commit to like a set time or anything yet. All right, team attack. Mm, I feel like I'm gonna have to promote the station here. I forgot if I run switches in this. Okay, I can potentially power up this. Oh, wow, I actually have, I'm ready to power up this turn. Okay, do I play? I must play switching cards, right? I absolutely must play switching cards. Okay, I play Balloon. Perfect. I play Balloon. I'm going to do this. I'm not going to be doing too much damage, but that's okay. So let's grab a Lightning, I guess. Yeah, that works. All right, so I'm gonna training cord, get back the water. I'll do balloon here. I'll do Oricorio. Draw even more energies. Okay, so I'm gonna ice dance one water here, one water here, <clears throat> one water here, and then lightning. All right, so now we're good to go. So, amazing surge. Only 20 damage though. <laughs> because of the iron defense formation, that's really bad. <laughs> With the telescopic side, I could be doing more damage, right? But I don't have it just yet. Okay, they don't KO me though, right? 30. Okay, I get Marty. I'll take the Marty, right? I did not see the Kyogre with Electro GX, no. Panapai, who won the 50 BST codes, by the way? I think I checked everything, and um, it was someone who posted on Facebook who guessed 91. Who guessed 91 points. Um, <clears throat> thank you so much, Jumpus Gaming. Thank you so much for the kind words. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the kind words. Okay, I did die because they are doing 150. Uh, I don't think I can win this match, <laughs> right? I can't win this. Well, I mean, maybe enough Kyogres, right? But can I actually power up enough Kyogres? All right, let me dance off tribute first, and then depending on what I get here, I'll decide what to get from the Rosa. Okay, so I'm gonna do the training court. 
Okay, so the one, the biggest issue is, okay, I'm gonna Rosa for a Kyogre, for a Quick Wall, and for a Light. No, I can't get Quick Wall. Uh, I can't get Quick Wall. Yeah, I'm gonna have to rely on Turbo Patches. Because if I want to attack this turn, I need to bop the Coco, unfortunately. I need to bop the Coco. <clears throat> right, this is not looking great though. <laughs> this is really not looking great at all. All right. All right, so I get another attack off. Uh, it's I don't think I can win this Right, I don't think I can win this You saw a post that reminded you of your Instagram girl bought to chill peanut butter and ms There you go. <laughs> yeah, peanut butter and ms are awesome. They're literally the best thing ever Can you do a raid what do you mean raid? Oh, like a raid after I'm done with the stream? Yeah, sure. I will definitely raid someone. Uh, okay, so let's do Dance of Tributes. No supporter. I think this is where it ends, guys. This is where the dream ends against Foul Links. <laughs> this is where the dream ends. Okay, so now we know Foul Links is a bad matchup. Yeah. This is where we know Falinx is a bad matchup for this, which, there we go. <laughs> hey, Deltron, thank you so much for being here. Yeah, but I needed two more scoped attacks, and that wasn't going to be enough. Like, I didn't have the cards to do it, right? So, do you think Silent Lab needs to be banned and expanded? Not at all, Red Viper, not at all. Would you like to go first? I feel like you do want to go first with this. Why do you think Silent Lab should be banned and expanded? Wow, what a hand. <laughs> <laughs> what a terrible, terrible hand. I'm gonna try, Deltron. Like, I, I want to start by streaming when I'm feeling like it. Yeah? I wanna start... I wanna stream more, yes, but I wanna stream when I'm feeling like streaming more than, like, <clears throat> feeling that I'm obligated to stream. You know? Like, that's, that's the difference right now. Um, okay. Do I want a power up station? No, I think I can just like attach here and then intrepid. All right, so we get a Kyogre. We're not getting supporters, but that's okay. We'll set up, yeah, we'll set up. Falling is a bad match over a lot of decks, yeah. So I'm gonna try and stream as much as I can Deltron when I feel like it, yeah? And I was talking about this earlier. I might try to stream stuff like uh, on Fridays, I might try to do like, for example, tomorrow is the expanded uh, Limitless tournament, right? So I'm gonna try and stream the tournament, the expanded tournament, and then in the afternoon, maybe stream myself playing some video games. I really just wanna play some video games overall. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I wanna slowly but surely get back into streaming for sure. You know, slowly but surely want to get back into streaming for sure. Because like I was getting in a really good um, rhythm of recording videos and all of this will just go to YouTube, right? So I think it's good to interact with you guys uh, live, um, build the community back up again. Like I think it's important, right? I definitely think it's important. Okay, my snom is very threatened right here like very, very threatened. So I think I'm gonna, yeah, I should get the Drachi actually. Let's get Drachi, let's go attach lightning and retreat. Let's go tubo patch, heads, nice. Let's go metal on this person. Let's go dreamy revelation. Honestly for Rosa, I fully expect my Jirachi to go down, right? And therefore I should just bench the Oricori as well. All right. <clears throat> so I think things are looking good for us to get an attack off next turn. Maybe. 
Okay, so we do get more need, as expected. <laughs> we do get more need as expected. Right. There's another Crobat. We all hate Marnie. Yeah, I, I definitely... Okay, so someone gave me the idea on the 50 different decks. I should get, like, Marnie, card, Marnie proxies printed and just rip them off every time she makes me that draw. <laughs> I think I should do that. I think I definitely should do that. Oh, wait, so what happened with the prediction? Did you guys get points for that? Let me do another prediction. I didn't win the game, right? Yeah, I didn't win that game. Hey, Velociraptor. Okay, I got Air Balloon. So I guess I should promote this. I'd rather have N for sure. I'd rather have N for sure. All right, so let's do Dance. No, what is this hand, dude? What is this hand? And hey, thanks so much for choosing to use your Prime Gaming subscription on the channel, Jumpless Gaming. I really, really appreciate it. I think I just Intrepid Sword. All right, things are looking better now. Well, I mean, if I flip double heads, because my opponent shouldn't be taking a KO, right? Unless they go boss on the snob. That would be sad. Okay, we get more need again. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Should I have played... Yeah, I probably should have played the telescopic side. I was just thinking about potential... I was thinking about potential... Um, potential a lot of things. Potential... Ah, uh, tool scrapper. Right. There should be a, I hate Marnie emotes. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's actually true. Okay, I feel like I want the Mew to go down. Right? No boss yet for my opponent. Okay. If my opponent goes boss KO on this norm, we can actually still get an attack off. Tails. Perfect. Well, I don't know, it's just that N is devastating for both players. And I don't know. I honestly don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't know. It's hard to it's hard to put into words, I guess. Okay, so it was actually my Kyogre that went down. Okay, I need a Rosa here. Nope. Uh, this is a problem. This is a problem, Rooney. I think I need to wait one more turn, though. I definitely think I need to wait one more turn. I'm not happy about it. Right? Obviously, I'm not happy about it, but I think we have to wait one more turn. Well... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna wait one more turn. Yeah, like, it doesn't help that Marty, particularly against me, just seems to wreck me every time. But, 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 um, yeah, like, N feels more strategic than Marty. Because Marty can just wreck you super early, whereas N, like, you give them six cards as well, so then you don't completely wreck them four or six. I don't know. I, th I think it, it comes down more to the game. Right? It generally comes that comes. Oh my gosh! It comes down more to the actual game. Wow, that's brutal, man. I've lost this game for sure. I need three back-to-back -back attacks. I need three back-to-back -back attacks. I just I could never set up, dude. I could never set up. I'm gonna need so many heads on turbo patches. 
like actually so many hints on turbo patches. <laughs> and I would have needed telescopic sight as well. Okay. No, I don't even have enough energy. Yeah, I'm, I'm dead. I don't even have enough energy to power up. Do I? I guess I do, technically. I don't have enough energy to power up. Okay, this deck, uh, very questionable. It needs a lot, and Marnie destroys it. Marnie is so bad for it. Um, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I feel like it's more like personal against Marnie. Um, but it's just, it's an issue with the game. It's just so like, boom, boom, boom. You whiff one turn, it's over, right? You whiff one turn, one anything, the game's over. Absolutely over. So, I don't know. I, I think the overall issue is the format and the card design more than Marty. But when you add that to my absolutely awful luck with Marty, then you get a recipe for disaster, right? <laughs> you get a recipe for disaster. The standard can be boring because like you try new stuff like this and then it just falls flat on your face. <laughs> Um, okay, I think I'm just gonna quick bolt the lightning for Snom, which I prized one Snom. All right, I'm gonna be less conservative with the cards I get because I've been very conservative and I feel like that's I'm getting punished for that. Um, yes, hot, hot cup of noodles in theory, and I think the sword and shield onwards format definitely shows that. So I will be hosting more sword and shield onwards uh, tournaments, guys. That will start happening after Battle Styles gets released. I'm working with the sponsor. And Stellwish Gaming, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the six MMs. I really appreciate it. Glad to be back. Yeah, glad to be back. Um, so I will be doing more sword and shield onwards tournaments. Um, I'm working with a sponsor in that. My proposal is there. It just needs to be accepted, okay? And then once it is accepted, we can um, we can start, okay? But it will feature battle styles and shining face, so there should be a lot more variety, and we will um, we will see what happens, right? How it develops. I think it will be very fun to see. And so my idea with coming back to streaming is the day I do viewer battles, I will probably try to do. Um, Sword and Shield onwards viewer battles, right? Because there's no ladder to practice that. So then we can play and practice that format together and we can upload those matches to YouTube. So you can be featured on YouTube as well. If you have like a cool idea for the Sword and Shield onwards format, now that it's going to have um, seven sets rather than just five, yeah, maybe we, we can make it happen. You know, so hopefully, hopefully um, I the plan works and I get to that point. Yeah, that's that's the plan. We'll see if, if it gets to fruition, but that's the plan. Now I have more time with uh, a lot of coaching um, being canceled and stuff. Like the reason I couldn't do more content before was because my days were like six to eight hours of coaching uh, pretty much every day. But now it's gone way, way down. So we don't have to worry about that as much. Okay, what am I doing here? I think I'm doing this for Articuno. So I can't be bossed and I get a essentially a free turn. I was about to click Intrepid Sword and now we go Intrepid Sword. Okay, so my Kyogre, but especially my Slum is protected here. So we'll see if we can get the attack off. The attack is gonna be brutal against his opponent. Birds are going to be in certain shield six. Which birds? What do I think of Expanded Cody? I really enjoy it. Yeah, I'm looking forward. Tomorrow I should be streaming the Expanded uh, Limitless tournament. And I'm excited about their uh, major, their Expanded Major. And I'm gonna try and feature more Expanded content as well. If you noticed yesterday there was an Expanded video at night. Today there will be an Expanded video in the afternoon. So a lot more Expanded content coming your way. All right, so I do like Expanded. Okay, so I'm definitely getting a Ricorio. I'm definitely getting a water because I'm missing water energies. And then I guess I can get telescopic side, but is there, I mean, I have Rosa for next turn. The training quartz, not super useful right now. So maybe just, 
I mean, I can get the turbo punch for the future, I guess. Or no, I'll, I'll give myself the research for future options, right? Okay. So <clears throat> I'm gonna quick ball. Okay, no, I'm gonna draw cards first. Yeah, and then I'll decide what I do. Oh, the Galarian birds. Yes, that's true. But that's way, way down the line, right? I'm focusing more on Bile Styles, right? Bile Styles is the, the most immediate set coming out right here. Okay, so I'll get the Kyogre. Oh, wait, I'm still, I'm missing a water energy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I can, I can attack, I can attack. Okay, so this is the plan, right? So then I use Coco on the two Kyogres. It's crazy how you didn't like Expanded years ago. And yeah, now it's like, I agree, Expand, Expanded right now is, is, more diverse and fun, more fun to play than um, than standard. All right, here we go. Boom! Finally, we pulled it off at a quicker time frame than before. <laughs> Finally, we pulled it at a quicker time frame than before. I feel like that's that's this deck, right? It's like it's very hit or miss. You pull it off once, and then but pulling it off consistently is gonna be pretty tough. The person who got to face it yesterday probably pulled it off pretty consistently, but... You like Zora Gerks, but you played Drampa in Expanded Tournament and got 9th? You regret playing Drampa. Uh, I mean, if it was recent, Drampa is definitely a little um, outdated at this point, but Zora is definitely fun. Um, yeah, like the, the aggressive... Uh, I guess not aggressive, but like the bans in Expanded definitely make for... For a nicer format, I would say. Definitely make for a nicer format. <clears throat> okay. I think, we'll, yeah, we win next turn. If we attack, we just need two water energies. And we have them with Training Court and Rosa. Now we just win. Now we actually just win by taking out all of those guys, right? Now we just win. I'm not missing anything, right? Now I just win. I'm pretty sure. So I do this, I get back the water. I power up the Kyogre. Yeah. Okay, please let me do it. No, for the views, person, for the views. <laughs> let me do it for the audience. All right, one more try for Kyogre. One more try for Kyogre. The CDI GX, Glacian GX. Uh, it sounds fun. It sounds fun. Glacian GX definitely like stopping all GX abilities. That's pretty good, right? That's pretty good. You saw it in your hand, in your heart, Kangaroo Rooster. I appreciate it. <laughs> I appreciate it. All right. Not the best, not the worst. Drachi gives me a little extra reach. <laughs> Okay, we're a similar deck. <laughs> All right, I get to establish Snob. That's that's the important part, right? Establishing Snob. Mew is gonna be very important here. Mew is going to be very, very important. So I feel like I do the Lightning. And I'll establish the Snob. Wow, Mew is actually huge right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bench it, you know? Mew is actually huge. Do they play their own Mew though? Do they play their own Mew? That is the question. All right, I think, yeah. I mean, I could pressure with Mew, I guess. Nah, let's let's just pass. Let's just pass. Which deck am I playing? Oh, I haven't updated the, the thingy, right? I'm playing Kyogre Amazing Rare. JJ Stream, I'm playing Kyogre Amazing Rare. You think 2018 is the last time standard is cool? I don't know. I feel like... I feel like even world... like I feel like last season was good. I feel like last season was fine. Like last season standard format. I feel like it was this rotation that just... Somehow wrecked everything. <laughs> okay. So we're both having very, very slow starts. 
you know, as we see right here. I'm gonna just bench the other Jirachi, honestly. At least I get a Kyogre, right? At least I get a Kyogre. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna use the Mars Shadow to get rid of their stadium. Tails, that's okay. My hand sucks though. My hand is zero cards. Wait, you know what? I'm gonna hold in case I get quick hold. Never mind. Shaman X is no longer legal in expanded. No. Yeah, this rotation is just not good. I feel like even tag teams were fine. Like the the duel between like tag team decks and Zoric decks and like that was really cool in my opinion. Like that was very. Like, I played in the finals of the Sao Paulo Regional Championships. Their Zorg, Slowking, Dugong deck against my Re Turbo Reshizard, Ability Reshizard deck. Like, that was one of the most intense finals. And it was really fun and really cool to play in. And I had to think a lot. Whereas right now, I don't think too much when I'm playing the big VMAX decks. So another idea I had was to just ban, like, the Uber Pokemon, right? So the Uber Powerful Pokemon, which are... Having a tournament where Seishen, ADP, Picarom, Welder, Look Metal, and Muse we are banned. Yeah, those six cards are banned. You can know and Eternatus, sorry, and Eternatus. Those seven cards are banned. That would allow maybe for Darmanitan to see play, maybe Salamence to see play, maybe Togekiss to see play. Yeah, maybe Rillaboom to be a dominant deck. Like that would be fun, you yeah? know? I think if you take away all those decks, the format slows down to the point where you don't need Crushing Hammer. But yeah, sure, let's ban Crushing Hammer too. Yeah, let's ban Crushing Hammer too. We're not banning supporters, no. <laughs> We're not quite banning those supporters. Okay, we're in a lot of trouble, guys. <laughs> we are in a lot of trouble right here. Poor Jirachi's dead. We know my next card is not good, it's a water energy, so I know I need the card after that, or the one of the two cards after that to be good. Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, uh, I'll play the stadium, sure. I'm not gonna touch the water, however. All right, I cannot get an attack off, so I need to establish Ori Corio here. Yeah, I'm gonna establish our Ikorio. Draw three more. There's a chance I get to attack, but it's not very high. Oh, wow, no, I don't get to attack. Okay, but I can retreat into this guy to protect my water peeps. So I think that's pretty good. I do think that's pretty good. Okay, so I'll do this and then I'll pass. Okay, I think there's hope for us. I think there's hope. Everyone playing Golurk. Yeah, I feel like it would allow for creativity, right? And without Welder, the fire decks also go down. Like, by banning Welder, you also ban Blastephalon, Reshizard, Scourge, stuff like that, you know? So that's the idea. I feel like I might do that. Like, maybe a monthly tournament or something like that. Maybe a monthly tournament or something like that could be done. Uh, okay, finally, there's Frostmoth. So, since the Lightning Energy can be my attachment for a turn, I'm not gonna actually bother using Coco yet. I will, however, power up stuff, right? I will, however, power up stuff. I'm gonna get the Telescopic Sight, even though I don't, like, really need it. Okay, finally, we get to... Oh, I almost misclicked. <laughs> finally, we get to, to an attack. All right, so nothing dies, but if I attack once more, I win. And I have the attack, right? I get back the water, I attach the metal, and I attach the lightning, and that's game. Who needs two row patches? Who needs two row patches? Oh no, my Coco is gone. That was a key card. <laughs> okay, I need a quick wall. I do need a quick wall. All right, I think Battle Styles is gonna be good for the metagame. I think Battle Styles will actually be pretty good. Uh, would this deck be legit with a damage counter arrangement Pokemon? Probably, right, probably. Maybe an Expanded, right? Like, this guy in Expanded with Max Elixirs, I don't think that there's anything wrong with that. Reshiram Amazing Rare with Max Elixirs, that could actually be really good. 
right? That could actually be really, really good. All right. So I need to attack once and I get six prizes, right? I need to attack just once and I get six prizes. So let's get back the metal because that's the one we need to attach. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and do Ice Dance already. And so I just need either Pokecom or a Quick Ball to get the Coco. There we go. There we go. GG. Please let me do it. 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 Let's go. GG. Six prizes in one turn. <laughs> I mean, that's different, right? That's different. The game still lasted four turns, but we won in a different way. Wow, I priced so many energies. I priced so many energies. All right, that was fun. There's 80 of you. Thank you so much to everyone who is here right now. I really appreciate it. So here's what I'm gonna do. As a thank you for this amazing welcome back to streaming, guys, like this definitely motivates me to do it more. Often, I'm gonna give you, uh, what was that? Thank you so much for the five bits, Pokemon Trainer. Thank you so much. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just copy paste ten codes, okay? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna paste ten codes in the chat, okay? So I'm gonna give you guys a, a few seconds, okay? So for those of you who are not, who don't have PC Joe open. Okay, it's gonna be a bloodbath to whoever gets them first, but hopefully by putting all 10 at the same time, 10 different people get them, okay? So we're gonna put 10 codes here and make sure you're opening up PTCGO. I'm letting you guys open, I'm giving this heads up, okay? Yeah, so everyone open PTCGO. I have the codes right here. And so it's, it's yeah, it's a battle royale for codes, exactly. <laughs> it's a battle royale for the codes. Um, I don't know what set they're from. They're from older sets, I think. Um, I just have like a huge database of codes uh, to give out. So open up, yeah. Hey, Tag World TCG. Open up PTCGO. I'm gonna give you 10 more seconds to have PTCGO open and then just try to get any code you can, okay? And if you got one, let us know. In the meantime, I will be having a three minute ad break. I'm sorry, but three minute ad break and we're gonna start with, uh, we're gonna finish the stream, we're gonna do more, but uh, an expanded deck, okay? We're gonna do an expanded deck. So 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I'll be right back. <laughs> 